You've probably heard the term U.S. quantitative easing, or QE, in the news lately, and how the U.S. Federal Reserve is planning on tapering off QE. But what does this mean to us? What effect does it have on our market and on our currency? And more importantly, how does the tapering off of QE affect us? So measures are put in place. If you want the economy to grow, people need access to money uh, to fund their expansion and their growth. So this is about supplying money to the market in, in a range of different ways. For the U.S. government to increase liquidity, they did a number of things. This included the U.S. Federal Reserve lowering interest rates, printing dollars, and using those dollars to buy bonds from banks so banks would have more cash to offer to the public at low interest rates, prompting people to borrow and spend, giving the economy a much-needed boost. At the same time, our stock market was going gangbusters. We got two ratings upgrades and were one of the best-performing markets in the world. Yes, it was good to finally be at the top of one of the best lists instead of the worst. The upgrade meant foreign investors who couldn't previously invest in our market could do so now. Those dollars came pouring into our country, were exchanged into pesos, and then invested into our stock market, making both the market and the peso stronger and the dollar weaker. Sadly, the reverse happened last May when Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke announced a tapering off of QE. Investors cashed in their gains, changed pesos back into dollars, and went running home. Since then, Bernanke has backtracked on his statement and the PSC has recovered from its massive drop. But talk about tapering off QE has persisted and it's really now just a matter of when it will happen. It's really about how people respond to that news flow. It's rather than something's actually gone and happened. So it's about people wanting to be ahead of how the market responds. There is a, a concern that that will result in a flow of liquidity out of the Philippines market. So in essence, people selling their, their shares in, in, in Philippine companies. That impact will be a short-term impact as people psychologically react but in actual fact that interest will remain in emerging markets and particularly in the Philippines, which has you know, been one of the top performing uh, economies in Asia. So keeping your eye on the monetary policies of other countries is important. In this case, U.S. quantitative easing and its eventual tapering off.